Hey everyone, it's the Nutrition Tactician. On this week's Nutrition Nugget, I'm discussing complete and incomplete proteins and how, yet again, food labels are continuing to mislead you into choosing suboptimal protein choices. Let's start by discussing protein structure. A protein is composed of several building blocks or amino acids. I want you to take a trip down memory lane, reminisce for a minute. Remember that time you used to build Lego towers? Those large towers out of those many colorful pieces? Well, think of that tower as a molecule of protein. And think of those building blocks, or Lego pieces, as amino acids. Would that tower stand strong if you were missing a few? <laughs> I don't think so. Well, the same applies to protein. If you're missing a few amino acids, it does not carry out its intended function. This is especially true on a muscle building level, where missing a few key amino acids can be the difference to maximizing the muscle building response and barely turning it on. There are 20 amino acids that are available in the body or through food. Your body can make 11 of them. The other nine, referred to as essential amino acids, need to be found in food or supplements you take during the day. A complete protein has all nine essential amino acids, and these can be found in all of your animal-based proteins, chicken, steak, dairy, eggs, whey. An incomplete protein is missing one or more essential amino acids, and these are common to your plant-based proteins, your grains, nuts, seeds, legumes, beans, lentils. Fortunately, you can pair two incomplete proteins together to combine and ultimately reach all nine essential amino acids. But without all essential amino acids present at a meal, you are not maximizing your muscle building response or the intended function of that protein. My biggest qualm with food labels today is that manufacturers are continuing to mislead uninformed consumers. And what I mean by that is they take a non-specific protein source, something that's not known as being a great source of protein, such as cereal or my favorite peanut butter, and advertising that it's a great source of protein. Sure, peanut butter is gonna have protein. In fact, seven grams. However, this is incomplete protein. And it's misleading because a consumer will buy that protein and consume peanut butter on its own at a meal, thinking that they have now just consumed enough protein for that meal or for that day. This could not be further from the truth. You need to ensure that you are always consuming all nine or all 20 amino acids at each and every meal, whether that's through an animal-based protein or pairing two complementary proteins. The choice is yours but without having all nine essential amino acids, you're doing yourself a disservice and not maximizing the protein response within the body. Thanks for watching everyone, until next time.